They thought maybe because it was anal sex and it was in the in the anal canal and the ass, there's just dirt, and it's a very dirty area, like dysentery. It's possible. Yeah, it's possible that you would get like dirty. I mean, it's fecal matter. It's like you if you touch it and eat it, you get sick. So putting it your cock on it could get you. I'm sure it would would weaken give you some microbes and bacteria that would weaken your system. And that's why people were getting sicker. Perhaps. Part of it. There's a lot of but things. they were weakening their own immune systems, and then... And then the American government decided to make a business out of it and start selling AIDS medication, AZT, amongst others. And I yeah. think that they thought, think they're doing the, the right thing, but it's like... Are doing the real damage. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. That's cool. Yeah, I, you know, it's weird to shut out certain doctors' facts and basis and theories because it doesn't fit in with the mainstream. Peter Duesberg, dude won a... Or Kerry, and, and Kerry Mullis, I think they both won Nobel Prizes. And they're both postulating that there is no direct scientific proof that HIV causes AIDS. And people just, for whatever reason, have kind of like just don't want to hear it. They want to they wanna keep believing that there's just this deadly virus that causes certain death. They want to believe it because it's easier to, to, take res to do that than it is to take responsibility for your own health. And to think that the people you knew that died of AIDS or AIDS-related disease brought that on themselves. That is something that people get pissed off at me about. Are like, I knew somebody that died. You have no idea what that is to see them suffer. But I, I, and I have seen suffering, and I've seen people. I knew, I know a guy that was a good friend of mine in Chicago with HIV, and they're not. It didn't happen to them. They may have somehow contracted a virus. Ultimately, they were all guinea pigs in this fucking medical society. They're, the medical society is testing medicine and other things on people with, with viruses. Putting in medicines that are just going to kill the viruses. And these people are suffering because they're confused and they're just believing what the doctor tells them. Because, you know, we're told that a doctor knows everything. Doctors know medicine. They know health. But doctors don't know everything. They're constantly learning new things. They're constantly having new perspectives. Medicine is constantly evolving and changing into more effective ways to treat or ways to look at disease. And, and we'll find a, a better way, I believe, to handle disease and viruses and viral infection than what we have now because throwing drugs at it is not necessarily the best way although I got pneumonia last year and I went and got antibiotics because drugs can't help the body fight disease and infection but it's you gotta weigh it the good versus the bad if a drug is is really 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 powerful to kill so, uh, something like cancer or like chemotherapy or something you gotta kinda weigh that and it's not always the best idea to take drugs to, to help the system because it, it may be doing one thing and doing a whole slew of other things that you don't want to be happening so the better way I think is to have a conversation about it and I would love to see doctors and scientists on YouTube making videos I think science should be open sourced to children to everybody that wants to speculate and hypothesize and let's continue my it's eyes the medicine It's or the some, belief that they're going to die. Some medicine has been wreaking havoc. Not all medicine wreaks havoc. But you're not going to die. You're going to live. If I can say that, and that's a very uh, messiah-like way to be. I'm not going to tell you what you're going to do. You can live, and you can die. And it is all your choice. And I will never take that from you. I have the same choice for myself. I choose to live. I choose life and health. There's no need to get spiritual. I, sometimes it gets so spiritual. It's so. Like, huh? HIV is unrelated to AIDS.
means is unrelated to... Well, okay, it might be related in that it weakens the immune system and then you get pneumonia because of a weakened immune system, but it doesn't necessarily cause it. It's not like you get it, you get it. It's all very fluid. ...disease that you actually have, it's all... It's, it's, it's not a progression of disease. I agree, man. If you are stressed, you can't get sick. You are more likely to get sick if you are stressed. But if you have HIV, if you've been become HIV positive, you can be healthy without medicine. Because HIV is a state of mind. Your T cell count... It, HIV is a virus. It's not a state of mind. I disagree with that statement. It's an ignorant statement. AIDS is more a state of mind. It's a syndrome. It's, a, it's like a... It's like a... Your way... It's... I mean, it's, I don't really want to liken it to any one specific thing. I was thinking it's like your wage. It's like how much money you make per hour. But not really. AIDS is like... It's in your mind because it didn't exist 30 years ago. So it's a new concept. It's a concept. AIDS is a concept. Acquired immune deficiency syndrome is a concept that... that when something is happening to you you are more likely to get all these Ill these specific illnesses what's happening that's but then the, that i understand that's truth it is it is a real concept and and hiv is a real virus but the correlation between them is not necessarily true it's it's not proven scientifically it hasn't been and i think there's a reason that it hasn't been because it's just not that black and white. It's not that straight up. It doesn't happen. The virus doesn't blow into a syndrome. Oh, there's Fluctuates. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You go from healthy to unhealthy to healthy. You can. I'm going to put up uh, two documentaries. I watched the first. I watched the second of the half and saw that it was made after the first that I watched, and I feel like I may watch the rest of it. At this I, point, I'm interested in incorporating people's... The experience. second one I watched was made before the first one I watched, which is why I didn't finish watching it. It was, like, less effective. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was older science. ...that I watched, and I feel like I may watch the rest of it. I haven't watched the rest of it yet. I don't know if I will. At this point, I'm interested in incorporating people's I watched ideas. this new one that was really good. Yeah, I am. I'm still interested in hearing. Anyway, okay, I faced this thing, and, I, and I'm glad I did, because it was, I was thinking about it at work for a long time. I don't want to burn this over 10 minutes, 11 minutes. Um, I, hope, I, hope this help, I hope this helped. <laughs> I'm going to watch it and see myself debating with myself. I, my, my ideas really are changing about this in the medical community, and uh, it's becoming more clear.